Welcome into the Panthers.com video mailbag presented by Cinta. This is staff writer Max Henson here with you as Panthers get ready to host the San Francisco 49ers in week two. We've got our first question from Tyler Steele who asks, are we going to see Funch and Ginn more involved or is it going to be the Benji show again? Well, last week against Denver, Kelvin Benjamin was targeted and, and targeted often. Uh, the most targeted receiver for Carolina did have 91 yards and a touchdown catch in his return to form. Really looked terrific. But both Cam Newton and offensive coordinator Mike Shula talked this week about really the need to spread the ball around. And they didn't feel that Cam was forcing it to Kelvin or Greg Olson, the other highly targeted player in that game against the Broncos. But it's definitely an effort moving forward to make sure that ball spread around. Carolina's got so many weapons right now offensively with Devin Funches, who's come on, had a great training camp. Ted Ginn, of course, with his speed, you know what he can do when he gets the ball in his hands. Philly Brown has a role in this team as well. It's unrealistic to think all of them are going to get an even amount of targets, a fair amount of touches each week. That, that's just not the reality of how things go in the NFL. It's going to change, but Cam Newton is making an effort to try to make sure that ball is gets spread around because he said it himself. When defenses don't know where that ball is going to be going, it makes them much, much harder to defend. So we'll see how things progress here in week two. The bottom line is Cam's all about making good decisions. If Kelvin Benjamin's got a great matchup, they don't care. They'll take it every single time if he's one-on-one -on -one and Cam feels he can win. So it's something we just have to see how it plays out and really see how the defenses are playing them. Got our next question from M Dorsey 92 who asks, how will the pass rush do without blitzing this week against the Niners? Well, you look back at last week, two sacks for Carolina against Trevor Simeon and the Broncos. One comes from rookie defensive tackle Vernon Butler, gets his first career sack. The other comes late in the game, a safety blitz from Trey Boston. So when you go into this second game, you're going to be looking for some more from those stars on the front line for Carolina. Pro Bowler K1 Short, of course, wants to make more of an impact on the quarterback. Wasn't able to do that against Simeon and the Broncos. Veteran Charles Johnson and his bookend defensive end partner, Coney Ely, they also want to be a presence on the edge. Want to get some more pressure on the quarterback. Of course, all players in that position want to register sacks. But it's not just about that. It's about the quarterback hits. It's about the hurries. Anything you can do to disrupt the rhythm of the passer. Their target is Blaine Gabbard this week, and they definitely want to put some pressure on him. Got our last question from Fastback, who asks, how excited is this team about playing in its first home game of the season? Tremendously excited. And you just look at the success they've had here at Bank of America Stadium. Last year, this team goes 15-1, and so they didn't lose very many games at all. But they went undefeated at home, and that's something they took a lot of pride in, not losing a single game here at the Bank. You go back to the past previous years, this team has been one of the best teams in the NFL playing on their home turf. And it, it, it's something that they've kind of come to live by now. You hear Thomas Davis before each game here at the Bank of America Stadium talking about defending their dirt. It means a lot to them to protect their house here. And, and you've seen the fan support really grow and increase over the past few seasons as Carolina has won the division for three straight years. Just the, the rise of the intensity and the passion that's come through. The players talk about it all the time. They feed off that. And so they feel very comfortable here at home, and they know that they're going to have a tremendous support behind them to make life difficult for the opposing team. They can't wait to take the field here Sunday. Thanks for the question this week, everybody. We'll do it again next time right here on Panthers.com.